Right. As promised, um, I'm going to let you know what's happening in my new account. This is my um, sh drop shipping account I just opened up last month of July the 6th, 2018. So we're in almost end of August, uh, just over a month, okay? So I like to hide the name, but I have 17 feedback, okay? So after and this is a brand new account. Now I have a limit of five thousand pound, selling limit of five thousand pound a month on this account. Now how the hell I get five thousand pound selling limit on my account? Because on my old account, I got freaking thirty five thousand pound selling limit per month, because I've been selling it for the last thirteen freaking years. Okay, right. So that's why I got this amount. I rang those idiots up in Philippines. I said, look, I want to raise the limit and they lease the limit, right? So I have 5,000 limit on this account, right? But out of these 17 feedbacks, okay? Right, if you look at down, what I did to boost my ratings, you know, the feedback, I sold few uh, used item and I bought some cheap 199 99 pence seeds just to look make this account look good okay so people start trusting me to sell they don't know how that I am I've been selling for the last freaking 13 years see so what I'm telling you don't get hooked on watching other people uh, on on these guys telling you to selling this amount and damn bloody drop shipping look here I got only two feedback as once I sold uh, what did I I sold a telephone here a coded telephone genuine yeah that was a good feedback from a customer that one was a drop shipping item okay and forget the second one only that's the next one uh, was a hose pipe thing, right? So that's two, two out of seventeen feedback, right? Um, are from drop shipping. Okay, now let's go to the account and show you how many, how much. Um, Right, these are some of my active listing, okay? Oh, if, if somebody wants to snipe me or scrape my listing, I don't mind, you know, you can carry on. Right, they, they, these are damn listing. I got 51 at the moment, right, okay? So, how many did I sold? So, out of 51 last month, this is how many I sold. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, seven items of drip drop shipping item I sold last month. Do you think it's worth it? Seven freaking item. It's not even going to pay for the the shop subscription, eBay shop subscription of thirty quid. Did not even pay that. Not even covering my bloody cost. And do you think it's worth it doing this kind of crap? People get hooked on, look, silly. Whereas if I were to sell uh, like I do, the trainers and things like that, I buy it for four quid and I flog it for 30, 40 pound, 25 quid. Look at the, look at the profit margin on that, seven, eight, 10 quid. For peace, whereas this shit you're making two pound, two pound fifty hardly, and then you fear the customers are gonna complain or they're gonna find out you're shifting your fucking Amazon product. You have your hassle on your hand. So what I'm saying, it's not all punky dory when it comes to drop shipping. 
I mean, I can easily pump up the volume on this, you know, start listing silly amount, two, three hundred at a time, you know. I, I'm using a software called um, D, D, DSM tool where you get 50 listing free, then um, for 300 listing, I think uh, it's about no, 150 listing, I think about nine dollars something, and it goes on to four, five hundred, fourteen, fifteen dollars get you 350. I think I'm just saying it top of my hand, you can check it out. DSM tool. But what does this software do? It just automates between um, Amazon listings. So everything Amazon is, you can pull it from Amazon and and list it. It makes your life easier to so track whether it's available or not, blah, blah, blah. But the fact is, look, you know, unless you have a couple of thousand listing, right? And you're paying silly money, silly money for eBay, silly money for PayPal and generating stupid amount of revenues, you end up getting nothing, bugger all. It's just waste of time. Is this is for somebody who who doesn't have it to do these things? So I hope you this video um, gives you a bit of in depth if you're thinking of it. Go for it. I'm not suggesting you shouldn't go for it. If you're thinking it's the right business platform for you, go for it. But I'm having my second doubts on this this. Um, um this type of selling look let's go down a bit look i made 195 pound sales look 195 pound sales out of that how much profit do you think this this isn't this is not all uh drop shipping because that the profit margin is so so freaking small is I know you don't don't have to have your stock, you don't have to have a, all this cost, but if you're not selling the damn thing, what's the point? What is the point? Just paying eBay fee and paying PayPal fee and that's it. And wasting time. But saying all this, I still have a go and show you around how I'm doing, keep up the good work, you know, because this I'm taking the this second account as a hobby, you know, building up slowly. Maybe I do something with it. So the thing is look, I don't get any pleasure out of I don't think I will get any pleasure out of selling it. Whereas the other account I'll show you in a minute. This was gets me motivated on the second account. Like See that second account of mine, buy, sell, second hand, look, 1310 feedback, okay? 100%, right? If you go down, look, positive, that's motivation for you. And look at the feedback what people write back, look, look at the sellers, feedback from sellers, right? Okay? Look at it, just read it. Amazing quality, huge, look. And that's what drives you. Amazing quality, huge tanks, recommended, right? M -M, great customer service, fantastic product, highly recommend. Okay, recommendation, quick delivery, describe, positive, excellent seller, excellent, a super first. Look at that, great, thanks, thanks. Now that's what you want to look for any business. When you're starting doing things like that, good things, they come easily but you have to put in the time so and what I'm selling I'm selling let's go uh, to this listing page okay now these are the stuff hats right baseball cap trainers, things like electronic games, board, there, yeah, look, these are pick up for two, three pound, four pound, maximum seven pound, eight pound, 
Salam Silly Price, Silly for Fair, Football Shirts. Okay. So if you're thinking, if you, you can't find a product to sell, just look for it. Copy my stuff and go to the car bushel, pick them up, start selling. Stop writing me and telling me oh, I can't find a product to sell. Of course, you can find a damn bloody product to sell. Spend a bit of time thinking about what the hell you want to do. And in between, mix some, you know, try a bit of in between. Look, look at all stuff. It's all good sellers. Look, I will keep banging on about I can't find the product, I can't find the damn margin. Of course you can find the margin, you gotta think about it, find your damn niche. Okay, let, let me show you something, look. Okay, uh, what am I? Okay, let's go to sell listing, okay. Okay, look. Right. Another idea for you guys and girls, okay? I bought a Panasonic telephone set, right? The freaking thing, the handset didn't work. But the base, look, I I paid four quid for it. Now I sold the damn base for 9.95, look. See that? Need more ideas, look. This is a pair of trainers. Adidas Decade High Itmo. I don't even know what that Itmo is. Sam Flores something, right? The guy who I bought it from, he was a DJ, he told me this is a great, great pair of trainers. I didn't listen to him, right? So I put it for $28.95, I paid £8 for it. Look, look at, you calculate the profit margin on that. And you know where he's going? He's going to Germany, some guy in Germany bought it. And it's less than a week. Less than a week, what am I talking about? A couple of days he sold. So look for these products. Forget about all this damn bloody drop shipping business. You know, look. The feedback on these are amazing feedback. And here we are, look. Arsenal football top. Terry Henry Arsenal vintage football top, right? Paid two quid for it. Only two damn quid. Look at how much it went for. $29.95. 29 I had to do a bit of research on this. Make sure it's is actually genuine and it was genuine right things like this look don't crack on look I'm, I'm showing you look there you go there's one or two um, product I did try uh, on drop shipping within the old account and then I stopped look see telephones go and get them or use telephone and sell it right night trainers see you can sell things all day long if you're damn lazy you don't even know what to find go to car sell go to second hand shop go to charity shop Use your old stuff, bang them in there. These are the freaking shitty truths of concept. I tried some. In fact, you be thinking, oh, you made a lot of money just selling a couple of these shitty swimming damn thing. Then I had to reorder one of those because the damn thing did not work. The majority of them look, the trainers, I'm just selling trainers after trainers after trainers. Look, see, and basal cap. See. So once you start building reputation, once you start getting the good feedback and you established yourself as a good seller, you have no problem selling stuff. People come to you, people know, they trust. They're not going to trust you just even with my second account, nobody knows me. They don't even know who I am, so they don't trust me. So I have to build trust, whether I drop ship or not drop ship. You see, I can really go out there, screw this account in a couple of minutes. It won't take a long time for me to screw this damn account up big time. All I need to do, I have a heavy limit on this account. 
All right, go on. Imp just buy one of those stupid uh, tools, you know, the automated uh, software like DS uh, DS tool or Hustle Go Real or whatever it is or other other program and pump this account up big time with silly dropship lifting listing. All right? Okay, I'll my um taking will go up the roof okay then what will happen is then i will have headaches so i'll have to in employ other people from philippines to put up my listing check every damn thing then i'll have a vat man the tax man the every every tom dick and harry chasing me around because my turnover will be such high i have to register vat because at the moment i think the vat um, threshold is about 80 something thousand before you need to register as a vat business you do not need to register under 80 80 something 88 thousand pound i think per annum right then i have damn headache more business more headache no problem but there'll be less bloody profit on this shitty old look at this margin on this trainers I'm selling these trainers I'm picking up for eight nine quid and selling them for selling them for how much look at this one went for 21.95 look at that you work the damn profit margin up can you imagine making that kind of damn stupid profit drop shipping you gotta be kidding me you are really kidding right again look converse pair of converse here right paid four quid for them 21.99 you take away you ebay fee you take away all your fees you see you be left out more than 10 quid on those easy easily so think about everyone before you jump on this stupid ship um drop shipping business you know as me being be hypocritical right i'm here i'm showing you this and i'm trying to build a freaking drop shipping on this side but if it works then i'll show you his damn bloody thing working if not i just stop i'll do something else so you know, when you're thinking of starting a new business on eBay, start slowly, gradually, work yourself up, 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 but then as soon as you reach the top, you can do whatever. See, account like this, I can do anything I want. I can have, if I decide to mark this up, I can start dropshipping in this account. Then I'll really mess everything up big time. Let's go to the main page and see what happens. Right? See, I don't want to ruin the good reputation, do I? I hope this video has helped you out a bit. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you just go and click the like button and subscribe, you know. Don't be silent. Say something, you know, just, you know, make comment. Let me know what you think about this, my ranting and raving, okay? You know, and also when you're doing this kind of thing, you have to promote, you know, it costs money to promote listings and do all sorts of things. So the, who is the winner at the end? You're not winner as a seller. Nobody is. It's platform like eBay are the winners, you know. They like you to do this. So they make more money. Even when you become quite successful seller, you do things differently. Don't follow their rules. They're only going to slap you in your bloody wrist, tell you don't do this again. You'll be naughty. Don't do it. They're not going to shut your damn account down.
right I don't want to make this video go even a bit longer it's gone long enough so thank you so much for watching this video all of my other videos click like subscribe and all the rest of it thank you so much